So what we're going to do is finish off our game by adding a few things to make it a bit more challenging. So first of all, let's make sure our uh, head starts in the centre of the screen. So we're going to go to motion, make sure we're on our head sprite and say go to zero zero. So let's do this. So go to zero zero, which is the centre of the screen. And we'll make sure our pen is up before we do that. So clear, pen up, go to zero zero, then put the pen down. We'll get our clear the screen sprite to appear until the game ends. So control, we shall choose forever. And we shall drag that around these commands here. So every five seconds, a random position will be picked and the clear the screen sprite will appear. Now we'll look at this clear the screen message. When we broadcast clear the screen, it sends a message to the head which picks up here. So when the head receives clear the screen, that's when the uh, line disappears. But let's do a few other things with that. I'll make the stage a bit smaller. Let's add some difficulty and challenge. So when we receive clear the screen, what we'll do is from the pen, we shall also change the pen size by one. So it gets thicker, so it gets more difficult. And we'll also make the head move faster. So to do that, we'll make a new variable we shall call it speed. So make a variable and call it speed. We don't have to see it, so we can just hide it from here. And then at the very start, where we're setting the score and setting the timer, we're going to say set speed to five. And then instead of saying move five steps, we're going to say move speed steps. Just drag that in. So any time we clear the screen, we're going to change the pen size by one and also change the speed by one so it gets faster. Let's just have a look at how that looks now. So green flag and we're off. So we've been playing away. And here's the clear. I got it. Now the pen size is getting thicker. I couldn't do you see that. I'm certainly moving faster. Getting faster again. And I'll keep doing that until we crash, which I'll go do just now. There we are. One last thing is that the game should stop when the, the red colour is touching the purple, as we see here. So I'm going to go to Control and just choose the command Stop All at the very end, like so. Now we can add a few more things to this, such as a starting screen, as an end screen, but perhaps that is something that you can investigate how to do.